hello friend welcome back in our previous video we successfully am able to insert all the data that means our contact form data we successfully inserted in our database now simple work we have to get this data in our backend so if you want to do this work what exactly you have to do like first of all right now we don't need this i close it and also we don't need this i close it in our header also we don't need this into the back in sidebar into the back in sidebar simple i create another new <laughs> okay another new one another new menu i name it as a contact message okay i name it as a contact contact message contact message will be same okay a z e so i make it as a contact message that will be our name i want to create on the new route as a contact and then the message okay, that will be the contact message now i want to create that route that will be on the get method so better i copy it and then after that i paste it so now that will be our another one sorry that will be our another one as a contact message i hope you already know every part now that will be our url as a contact and I name it as a contact slash message and I want to create another new method as a contact message okay contact message method I simply copy it now we have to go to our um, contact controller here now I want to create another new method as a public and then function and then our contact message right so into this contact message now what exactly we have to do we have to get all the data right we have to get all that our latest data simple work so I take one of the variable as a contact we have already done a lot of the time that things okay con tctx contacts okay and then i want to do that is our model name from where exactly i want to get this data i want to get this data from to the contact right so that is a contact model so with this model we are able to access our database table right so that is our database table so now from here i want to get all that latest data simple work like that is the latest so the latest data i want to do i want to get okay so then that will be the get method great and then i want to visible it we have to visible it into the return on the view page so now i want to visible it in our admin right so to this admin i want to create on the new folder as a contact um, if you go to our admin yeah into this admin i want to create another new folder as a contact and i just name it as a um, all contact okay and this time on the page i want to create and then i want to i have already get all the data so now with this compact we have to do we have to pass it right i have get all the latest data from our contact table take the things with this variable now here i pass it by the compact that is a compact method in our all contact page so now we have to create our folder as a contact in our admin view that is a, there is a view and admin i want to create on the new folder and then just name it as a contact and into this contact area i want to create on the new file click as a new file click as a save as and i just name it as a all contact dot blade dot php so friend that will be just like one of the view page if you go to our about into the about you can say there's an about page all mm, here maybe i loaded that is a form right i want to load on the form actually so if you want to load this form there is all multimedia image Mm, yeah you can actually use it because here i have already loaded one of the data table right so i copy it everything and now in our all contact here i paste it so that will be same process now i want to simply update it as per our demand like that will be as a contact message message all okay and i also want to update that name that will be the contact message all and then that will be some of the field what data you want to visible you can actually visible it right now i want to do i want to take some of the another field okay like that will be this display as a serial number and that will be display better go to the structure that like is name email subject and phone so that is the four field that i want to visible so now that will be the name i name it as a name and also i name it as another one as an email so then that will be as an email and also i want to take another one as a subject so if you want to display the subject you can actually display it so i make it as a subject and also the phone okay so now that's all i think or right, then i just simply make it as a phone only okay i simply make it as a phone only so that will be as a phone that will be as an email that will be as a name great and then the action 
so our first um, td that will be display our serial number then i want to display the name so right now we don't need that image functionality better i remove that image and now that is our second one here i want to display the name right so here i have already get that all data take the things with this variable as a contact in our all contact page now there is our all contact page that is our for each loop so i make it as a um, contact as item so now with this item we have to visible it with this item we have to visible our field name our field name for the name as a name right so then that will be display the name and better i copy it also i want to display another two another two will be as a email and then phone so i make it as an email field so now that will be as an email field and also i want to take another one as a phone right so then that will be as a phone and then that is our action so for the action we don't need to edit any data only we need the delete okay perfect perfect so friend that's all you have to do now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and if you now go and right now i want to do that is a back end right there is a back end it is a back end i want to refresh it now you can see there is a new menu as a contact message if you select it as a contact message yeah perfect is they have the two a serial number name email is visible phone number is visible and also if you want to display the date okay then that will be actually better uh before i have already inserted one data without date like if you want to display the date what exactly you have to do i better i take another field i simply paste it so then that will be as a date that means when actually user send that message it's important so i make it as a date okay so date if you want to visible after that i copy it okay after that i copy paste it so that will be as a date format name it as a created at created underscore at so if you want to display the created that i have already discussed about that things with you then they have the drift for human right i have already used it in our font in maybe into the font in in our blog details mm, here mm, you can see that is the same things better i copy it now that will be actually uh, interactive i copy it now in our mm, page that means here now i want to update and uh, simply update so that was a carbon carbon farts right now i get all the data with our contacts as item now that will be as an item with this item i want to access our created that and drift for humans now that will be uh, updated nicely click as a save all now if you go and now to refresh it yeah you can see there is a new uh, or the date available and there is nine minute ago we received this message and one second ago we received this message great so now i want to do i want to delete it here we don't need to actually edit any data i only want to delete i hope you already know what exactly the things you have to do right now that is a route and route i make it as a delete message okay i mean i create another new route as a delete message and there have also of the id right now i have already into the for each loop i get all that our contacts data so now with this data i want item i want to access our contact table id right so that is our contact table field ids by this id i want to do and to delete so if you want to do this work now go to our web i want to create another new one i simply paste it so that will be another get method and right now in our route name as a delete message and also that have one of the id i make it as a delete message our route name and url i make it as a delete message I, and also after that here we have to pass one of the id so i simply pass one of the requested id and i make it as a delict okay delict message that will be as a delict message now i want to create delict message method in our contact controller simple now go to our contact controller here after that i name it as a public and then function and then our delict message okay and here also we have to do we have to pass our requested id right so that will be our requested id because we have to delict it with a specific one of the id here i pass that id so now if you want to delete what exactly you have to do simple process uh, with our i want to delete it from our wish table and to delete it from the contact table right so now if you want to access our contact table we have to access it our contact model so now with this contact then the find or fail remember that is a find okay find or fail method with this find or fail method i want to first of all get that our id id means our requested id when it will be get it then i want to apply that our delete method okay so then that will be deleted
great and after that deleted if you want to display some of the message you can display it like that is our notification message i copy it and after that that will be our next page okay so then it will be written redirect to the um, same page that means the back page it will be displayed on the message as a your message deleted deleted successfully okay and our alert type will be as a success return redirect to the back page that's all that's all so now let's check this out if you know click as a save all better i want to insert on the new data I refresh it now i make it as a test i make it as a test at the red gmail.com put the test okay test and then put found the phone number and i pass on the message now click as a send message yeah your message submitted successful which is totally fine everything is look like perfect if you go to a database now that should be insert another one yeah inserted and now if you go to our admin now refresh it hmm you can see now it's successfully inserted new one as a test so now i want to do and to delete it if you now click as a, okay yes delete it now that should be gone it should be displayed on the message as your message deleted successful it's not totally gone from here and also it should be gone from our database perfect okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you how much easily you done this or contact page right now you can see all that your user messages in your contact message area so you know next video i want to complete all that our rest of this route there is a home route about service portfolio or blog i want to complete all that our menu routes okay so how can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you the next video